up, Stutters? Welcome to another local band, Smoke Around. Your host is Highland West BG, and we're going to do a Wake and Bake album review today. Fucking awesome. I love doing it. We're doing Massic. Their, song, their album's called Red Shift. They're from Brisbane, Australia. Fist.com slash Massic Band. Um, they refer to themselves as heavy groove metal. we got ten tracks to do on the album, and then we did the album assessment. If you've never been here when we do an album or EP review, Basically, I've already listened to the entire album, took down notes on every single song, and I'm going to read those notes out as we go track by track all the way to the end. And when we get to the end, we do an album assessment where I review kind of like the whole album as one, and I give it a rating score, tell what I liked and didn't like, and uh, that's that. There will be a couple pauses in between because it's a long, I mean, 10 tracks is a long, it's like 40 minutes, so we do like a couple breaks in between. And I don't play every single song like all the way through, I do like a minute and a half snippets, so... Anyway, before we get started with most of the sponsors, Young Blood Productions takes booking to 909-706-1985 for bigger and better shows if, you, if you're in a band in Southern California. Dirty Radio, the free uncensored app you should already have downloaded. I'm on there every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Boost AK Integra Products, Jason Trevino Tattoos, located in Victorville, California. Vape Out, located in Big Bear in Apple Valley, California. Use code LBS15 to take 15% off your purchase. Octave Studios in Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. And then... Uh, my homie, Hexelior Designs, has sent me, I used to play some shows with this dude, but um, he uh, sent me uh, some merch that he has a merch company now. If you guys ever need shirts or anything made, they do all of this. I don't know if you can see what that says. They do all that. <laughs> but yeah, Hexelior Designs. Look them up on Facebook, Instagram, they're fucking super cool. All right, so we're gonna start off with the song Redshift. Intro song to the album, it's got a kind of creepy glitchiness to it, but there's some cool samples. It's a little short, just kind of like a taste of what's to come, but let's check that one out real fast. Adjustment. All right. <coughs> so that we track one, the title track, Red Shift, and that's gonna lead us to track two. Red Shift is kind of just intro, but this is gonna be the first real song. Harange. It's not Harambe. Harange, I think is how you pronounce it. Opens once it drops with the same with some dope agony screams. I refer to agony screams as my favorite. Those ones that are like. Now, why, wow, now, like kind of like screams like that. Those are like my favorite ones because you can really understand the words and be like, rawr, rawr, rawr. I and mean, those are screams are cool, the deep, the deep lows. But I have trouble understanding what the vocals are saying. So, production sounds really good so far on this album. Uh, good call and response vocals as far as like there's some background screams where the scream goes like, ah, dog, and like somebody else does it or maybe just relayered it. I don't know. Harangue, track two. I hope I pronounced that right. Here we go.
Merengue, track two. All right, so the next one's going to be, track three's going to be The Herder. It's actually uh, one of my favorites on it. Takes off right where Merengue left off. Uh, one of my favorite lyrics in the song is, tell us where the bodies are kept. I thought that was cool. It has a really, really sweet hook, and it's a groovy, chunky, full break that happens uh, kind of towards the end. I don't know if you'll hear that part in this sample, but um, that's the better reason to go check out the whole album for yourself and grab it and discover the rest of the, the music. So we only do a little snippets on here, but uh, track three, The Herder, one of my favorites on here. Tell me what you guys think. album review at any time you can go to facebook.com slash massive band and I encourage you to like their page um, yeah other than that we'll be right back alrighty what's up centers we are back with part two of the massic redshift album review facebook.com slash massic band and uh, track four is going to be torched over opens angry and aggressive some cleans kind of on this track when I say cleans it's like um, instead of being that agony scream throughout the thing he does kind of like the I would tell you, like, something like that. So it's kind of like cheating in some cleans, but I like when people do that. It's uh, it's a change up to the sound of the vocal and stuff. Um, so older style guitarist on this one, um, and a really cool heavy way to finish the track, which I don't think you guys are hearing this snippet, but that's again another reason why you got to get the album wrench if you got to. Anyway, here we go. Track four with Torch Over. Can you feel the sweat? Torched over track four leads us to track five, Devolve. Another one of my favorites on the CD, by the way. It's got a cool glitchy intro sample, cool guitar tones in this one. Um, I love the way that he just says, Devolve. 
Uh, it's got a really nice drum fill it apart, and then one of my vocals, the vocals that I really liked is uh, Just Walk, We Got It Wrong. A little guitar solo at the end, too. One of the, one of the first solos, I would say, that stands out on the CD so far, but there's a bunch coming at the end, but uh, track five, Devolve. Classic. sons of bitches. Track six, Perpetual, a uh, similar guitar tone used throughout the album so far, I've kind of noticed. Uh, some screams sound a little extra intense on this song, and there's another really sweet solo near the end. So this will be track six, Perpetual. Just like that, we're up to lucky number seven. The song is called Just the Living. This one's kind of cool because some of the riffs on this one sound like some old Metallica riffs to me. And I like when he says, uh, we're just living the way he says it. Um, the solo in this track may be the best one so far on the entire album. Track seven, Just Living. Prisoners, piss off, the cleanse and write the book 
seven, lucky number seven, just living. Uh, and uh, I guess we'll be right back after this with uh, part three, tracks eight, nine, and ten in the album assessment. Massic, go going. All righty, guys, what's up? And welcome back to part three of the Massic Redshift album review. Facebook.com slash Massic Band. We've got a couple more songs to go. The next one's going to be Preconceptions. Heavy, thick riffs in the beginning. One of my favorite vocals is Good People Are Hard to Find. That's, that's just dope right there. Heavy chugs near the end of the song sound pretty cool. And then there's another really sweet dope solo uh, in this one. So check out track eight, Preconceptions. Conceptions. Track 9 is going to be Defeated, and it has a really dope drum fill in the intro. <clears throat> uh, it's one of the shorter songs on the album, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with that. Uh, it's got some really like punk metal parts to it, um, as far as like what the drummer is like playing like beat-wise, uh, which is cool. And um, I like the lyric that says, these doors are fucking closed, like the way he says it. So, uh, Defeated, track 9. Here we go. track it's called ruination track 10 this song kind of starts a little different than the other songs um, it's got a really cool sample it's an outro track but it totally keeps the heavy coming the whole time so it's just a great way to end the album it's track 10 ruination Yeah. 
children of lust Yet to a time to family Taught to act white Never accepted as an equal Not given the same rights While their race Continues to die That shit's done so Anyway <clears throat> All right, so it's time for the album Assessment. Massic, Redshift, Brisbane, Australia, Face of the Accomplished, Massic, Bam. Massic is pissed off on this album. The agony screens are absolutely fantastic throughout the entire CD. Uh, my one pet peeve, uh, it's just meant to be a positive constructive criticism, is I felt like the guitar tones were really similar in a lot of the tracks, and I was, was kind of hoping that you guys went like crazy off the wall different on just one different song, but uh, Nothing to worry about. Maybe on a different album we'll, we'll get there. Um, still, the band pulls off uh, the metal genre extremely nicely, mixing in punk and some elements. There's some really sweet solos going on throughout the CD, especially in the track Just Living. Um, my favorite tracks were Just Living, Devolve, and The Herder. Solid production throughout. 8.7 out of 10 is going to be my score. So cheers, fellas. Fantastic score for you guys. Massic, once again, facebook.com slash Massic band. Make sure you guys please go like their page and show support, especially if you can catch a show in the Brisbane area. Definitely fucking buy some merch and tell them local bands smoke outside you and you're happy they did because there was a lot of cool parts you weren't able to hear in the snippets, so make sure you go and check out the rest of the city and then you'll be able to hear those cool parts. If you're watching this and you're interested in doing this yourself, hit me up, facebook.com slash local band smoke up. Make sure you like the page, watch the video at the very, very top, explains everything you to submit correctly and or skip the winning list and or get the album or EP review done just like we just did for Nasdaq. So other than that, cheers and keep blazing. Peace.